just kissing another black woman because we are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect societies, we protect communities with our intellectual property, with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the ones and the two. It's not even a three. <laughs> are not providers and protectors, not innately, because they only protect what they possess. But we protect everybody. We provide, baby, okay? So I hope you catch a girl tonight, because I hope I do. Ew! <laughs> and don't forget, before there was feminism, it was lesbians who were living those lives without worried about niggas. Like, they were not worried about niggas. They were decentering men. So before there was feminism, there were lesbians. Hey, excuse me, thank you. Uh, oh, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. I don't give a Yeah, this man, this man hit me, he grabbed a rock and he hit me in my face because I want to give him my number. And all y'all just watch. What do you want? What do you want? What do y'all want y'all to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. Yo, this man just hit me. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men. It was like, what are you gonna do? And I told all these men, like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's he's holding a brick, and all these watching, and nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face, and they're all just watching, and they let that get in the corner. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? You know, it's been 12 hours. I'm in the hospital. I'm getting discharged. I do have a concussion, so I gotta be slow for the week. Unfortunately, I don't have the kind of job that's gonna give me that kind of grace. So, you know, I still got a mother. I still gotta teach. I still gotta work. I really just want the best for everybody, and I don't know why people want to kill me. I can't even chew food the next week. I had a vacation that I took six months ago for my birthday. I'm so afraid, like, I'm so afraid, like, why do people want to hurt me so bad? I... <clears throat> First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, <clears throat> the temple. Of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. A hey, Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, few sincere Aqua. And Shalom to the 144,000. Now this is gonna be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And uh this gal here, man, this is pretty much how she looked, man. Right when Jake hit her in the head with a brick. <laughs> Now, you know, I'm trying not to be funny here, but you brothers and you few sisters, y'all should remember this episode when Martin, uh, he was fighting, uh, I forget the boxer, right? And then after the fight, after he got his ass whooped, you know, he came out and this is how he was looking, man. You see that? So this is how this gal here, this is how she looked, man. <laughs> you know, talk, talking shit, talking cash shit. In the first video, man, you see? You know, so you women out there, right, they like to talk shit about men, how, how, you know, how men ain't nothing and we don't need a man and all of that. A lot of you women out there are going to be looking like this right here, man, in the days to come. You see that? And a lot of women out here, right, they ain't, they ain't built up like that. You know, and what I mean by that is a lot of women out here think they cute and they not, man. 
right? And that's a curse. You know how scriptures say, uh, instead of uh, beauty, right, there shall be, um, oh man, I, I forget exactly how it go, you know, but, you know, when it come to mind, it'll hit me. But, you know, yeah, man, it, sh it shall be burning instead of beauty, man. Right, so when all hell break loose out here for you women, right, you independent, independent, right? We're going to see how independent you be, man, in the days to come. You're going to be looking like this right here, man, right? Get your meat lumped out here, man. You see, and it's going to be more than a brick. Jake going to be picking up, um, yeah, man, all kind of things. You see, because a lot of you women out there, you guys, that, that whole... You know, I'm a woman, that whole hegemony crap, you know, that whole feminism crap, great come to a grinding halt. You see? And you know, going back, you know, I this hope video. Every black woman is kissing another black woman because we are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect Now, I don't know if if that means, you know, that she likes other women. You know, I, you know, I don't know, but, you know, she's saying that how the women, they're the protectors, right? We're going to prove her wrong through the scriptures. You see that? Where the hell was your protection then? Oh, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. But I thought the black woman, right, was supposed to be a protector. I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman. Through. We are the innate protectors and the providers. Okay. We protect societies, we protect communities with our intellectual property, with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. No. We're the ones and the two. It's not even a three. Because <laughs> men are not providers and protectors. Not okay. Even. So in this video, oh, right? This man just hit me. In this video here, she wanted a man to protect her. You see that? So you women out there, the Lord's going to make more examples of this here, man. My face with a brick and all these black men just watch. And they don't give a Yeah, this man hit me and grabbed a rock and hit me in my Okay, but you said that the woman was supposed to be the protector, right? Face, I want to give her my number. And all y'all just watch. What do you want me but you but you just said in the video right that the women are the protectors right so anyway you know this, yeah man a lot of you women out there are gonna look are gonna look like this right here man that's this is the first image i thought of when i saw that woman there man you ain't gonna be looking through you see so let's go ahead and grab some scriptures out there because the lord gonna bring you women to your knees right this is the book Grab this first Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 Be not deceived The most high is not mocked For whatsoever a man soweth That shall he also reap You see that so a lot of you women out there Right and even some of you men But I'm talking about you women out there Right, right about now Right you guys want to you know just I don't know live this bugged out I can do whatever the hell I want to do I don't need a man kind of spirit Right keep those same words man Keep those same words. And this woman here found out the hard way. You see, you see that? And she literally found out the hard way. You know? Now, a man like myself, I've been hit in the head, man, really, really hard. Right? And when you get hit in the head really hard, right, it's called getting your bell rung. You know, you hear a ting in your ear, man. Right? And that's what the hell she felt. You see that? So a lot of you people out there, you got you guys great get your bells rung, man. All right, we're gonna see if the scoffing and the mocking continues in that day. Let's keep going here. I'm, I may go back to some of them videos. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 24. Of the woman, right, came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. You hear that, you men out there? Right? Don't let these women out there rule over you, man. Right, scriptures say, give not thy strength unto a woman. Now, this is not for you sincere sisters out there, right? Your high rathas are, you know, you know, you'll be protected in the days to come. But I'm talking about for the stubborn ass women that are out there, man, like this. Uh, it's been 12 hours, I'm in the hospital, I'm getting discharged. I do have a concussion, so I gotta take it slow for a week. Unfortunately, I don't have the kind of job that's gonna give me that kind of grace. So, talking talk shit and ain't got the money to pay. So, so you know, you you independent single women, right? That's uh, that's great to be done away with, man. It's 
It's gonna be a lot more crying out there, man. You see that? Let's keep going here. All right, let's read the next precept. And it reads, give not, like give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. You see that? And what the hell is this woman out here doing out here this, at, this late at night? She probably was at a club or, you know, out there drinking or whatever, right? But you can tell it's nighttime. She should have had her black ass in the house. And just hear me at my face when I'm breaking all these black men just watch. And they don't give a yeah, it, would, it wouldn't have happened if you would have had your ass in the house. You see that? So a lot of you women out there, you know, you guys got too much liberty, but it's okay. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 2, and it reads, And the man, right, talk about who? The Israelite man. And, the, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. You see that? So a lot of you women out there, when, when shit get bad out there, the first thing you want to do is try to find a man, right? But, but you got all this freedom that Esau, Edom gave you, right? And now you feel like you don't need a man. You want to know why you feel like you don't need an Israelite man? Because Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is your man. You see? Continuing on, and a, and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place. As the, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. You see, so a lot of you women out there, you guys going to come to men out there for protection. Like how this woman here, how she needed. You see? This man it hit me, it grabbed a rock and it hit me in my face. But I want to give him my number. And all y'all just watch. What you want? You now you sitting there looking at the men like, help me, help me, right? So yeah, man. A lot more of this is going to come. and You see that? It's going to come. A lot of you women out there, she was just an example. You see? And if she don't humble down, right? It's, it's, yeah, she's going to receive something worse. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. You see? A lot of you women out there, you guys are at ease. Got your feet kicked up. Feel like you don't need a man. Right? Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ears unto my speech. And a lot of you women out there, you guys simply refuse to listen to the prophets. Right? You scoff, you mock, you come against us, you talk shit. Right? Well, let's see if you be talking shit when you be looking like this right here, man. Let's see if that shit talking, you know, continues when you looking like this right here. Alright? Let's keep going here. I want to keep it quick. Romans chapter 1 verse 24 because I believe that woman there she might mess with you know other women because she said you know when they you know get you I don't know whatever the hell she said matter of fact let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and see what she said I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman because we are the unique yeah she says she hoped that every black woman is kissing another black woman and we're not black we're the Israelites but she's a black woman see that she's void of light and wicked Right, and that's why that's why the Lord allowed her ass to receive a brick. This is the book of Romans, chapter one, verse twenty-four, and it reads, "Wherefore the Most High also gave them to uncleanness through the lust of their own heart." You see that? To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Talk about you, Israelites, man. Here's the point: who changed the truth into the Most High into a lie, and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator? Who is blessed forever amen you see so a lot of you people out here are in this spirit man let's keep going here right let me see here Salakia. let's keep going all right because a lot of you people out there you think everything is a damn game you think everything is a joke you see that we're gonna find out if it's a joke when all hell break loose jacob's trouble Romans chapter 1 verse 26. For this cause the Most High gave them up to vile affections. For even their women, you see that, did change the natural use unto which is against nature. You see, so, yeah, judgment is going forth out there for you women. Right? You girls that love girls. Right? Yeah, man. Let's go ahead and grab one more and I'm going to end this lesson, man. This is the book, you know, because ultimately it was the Lord that brought brought this woman here uh, all that pain man right and she better repent and if she don't repent then hey i don't know what else to say right you might see a news article on her somewhere breaking news such and such and such and such destroyed 
Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39 in the NLT, and it reads, Look now, I myself am he. There is no other God but me. You see that? So there's only one God as the God of the Israelites, Yahweh. I, I am the one who kills and gives life. You see that? I am the one who wounds, right? And that girl that got wounded and heals. And it could have been a lot worse, man, to receive a brick on the side of the face. No one can be rescued from my powerful hand. You see, so the Lord brought down judgment on this wicked ass woman here, man. Right? So, you know, just want to do this lesson here, just something real quick through the spirit and power of your how about Shema Bashai. You women out there, you guys better humble the hell down quickly. Right? If not, you're gonna receive worse. And you're gonna wind up looking like this. Until the next time I say, Shalom.